Yesterday, um, as you saw, there was a, a breach of the outer perimeter um, in the area that was within sight and sound of the United Center, uh, the venue where the DNC is being held. Um, it was a brief breach. Um, there were demonstrated tactics applied uh, to remove some of the locks from uh, the outer perimeter fence uh, and the fencing. Our officers arrived on the scene. Uh, we were in, in immediate contact uh, with our federal partners about it. Um, some of them breached uh, into uh, the fence, uh, the adjacent fence. Um, they attempted to pull that fencing down. We got in there as quickly as we could. Our officers showed great restraint. Uh, the leadership team being out there, making sure that the officers are remembering their training um, and, and relying on their training to get this done. Um, our officers uh, at some point were sprayed with OC spray. Um, we had objects thrown at officers, water bottles, water thrown on officers. Uh, no major injuries, but our officers did not overreact. Um, we were able to clear that uh, area up uh, really quickly. Um, shortly thereafter, um, having a conversation with the Secret Service, that location was then uh, fortified uh, to make sure that that didn't happen again. Um, we had uh, approximately about 3,500 protesters that started, uh, started out with that. Um, and I'm not going to tie, I'm not going to tie that event and what happened with the breach with the entirety of uh, uh, the protest. Because within that protest, we had people who simply wanted to exercise their First Amendment rights. Those people broke off and started marching when that group of individuals stayed behind and breached the fence. Um, I'm just happy to say that uh, the coordinated work between CPD and federal partners Nothing happened. Uh, we took uh, complete control of it. Um, there were 13 arrests made, but not uh, in relation to that particular event. Um, and what I'd like to say again is just I, I couldn't be more proud of how the Chicago Police Department responded under those circumstances. We put on display uh, the training and the preparation uh, that we've been engaged in uh, for over a year now. Uh, that being said, moving forward, we do expect to see more protests, more demonstrated tactics. Again, we're up to the challenge. The city is up to the challenge, and it's not just CPD, it's everyone, OEMC working together in lockstep with Chicago Police Department, our federal partners, our state, local partners, um, our mutual aid officers uh, who are helping out. And the collaboration has been excellent.